I want to cover a new and quite different set of features for Asana to go. And it has nothing to do with reporting like the rest of Asana to go. You might use this dozens of times every day like I've been doing for the past few months. It's a quick way to set a task's date and time in several ways, including using natural language. And also you can triage the task by changing the My Tasks section and multi-homing all at the same time. And it also offers you customizable shortcuts for all of those things as well. That's a lot, so keep watching uh, to see each of these things one by one. To add a date and time, I just hit a shortcut, type in, in this case, Wednesday at 2 p.m., and hit return, and the date and time are set. I've just saved a ton of keystrokes compared to regular Asana and also didn't have to use the mouse, though it works with the mouse too if you prefer. I'll leave it to you to count up all the clicks and mouse moves that it would take to do that just in Asana, but it's not nearly as quick as this. And it works with all the selection types that Asana to go already supports, so not just one task but uh, many, and it's not limited to the 50 selection limit either. And this works uh, Elsewhere, you're looking at it in my task, but it works in any project, search results view, tags view, um, and even for subtasks here. So if I were to go ahead and select three subtasks, bring up the dialog and change this to, uh, you know, Thursday at 4 p.m., then they'll all get updated that way. You have three different ways that you can uh, set any uh, date either for start date or due date, and optionally for time for those. So you can just uh, click on the calendar, <clears throat> move the calendar around. But if you prefer, you can drop down and see all these preset values, like um, beginning of next month. You can type that in, or just beginning of next year, and those are going to uh, fill in automatically. And of course, you, you can just type that in here yourself, like maybe uh, Friday or Friday at 2 p.m., something like that. And you can see that it's always keeping the calendar in sync. And then you're seeing down here the actual value that you're going to get. And those presets uh, work also for the start date. You get a set of them over here if you want to use those or the ones for the due date. All those different formats that you can type in, there are all, a lot of examples are shown here, but you can get some more information over here. See, you could type like 15 MAR for the 15th of March, um, or just 2P for 2 PM today, um, and these other uh, formats that are shown there. Those are all the natural language formats that are supported. Now, there are two more features that I haven't spoken about yet that you can use uh, in this dialog to triage tasks besides the dates. So the first one is this My Tasks section here. So if you hover over this, and you can also do uh, Control-0 to show that menu if you don't want to use the mouse. This shows your My Tasks section. So I use this a lot at the same time that I set a date because um, I want to be able to, to get those two values set easily in tandem. So you're going to see this chooser so long as the selected task that you bring up is already assigned to you. And you can, you know, type just control plus the number to choose whichever uh, my task section you want. And then that'll, that'll set it in here and it'll tell you that you're, that's the one you're getting. And you can also do multi-homing, which is, just means adding a task to another project. Uh, really quickly here, if you've configured your choices, as I'll show you in a second. Um, so this menu here um, would show other projects that you've pre-configured, and you could choose to, you know, to add the task or tasks that are selected to those other projects as well. So a real common workflow for me is if I'm waiting on something from someone else, like getting an agreement, then I might want to make it for Friday and then move it into my later. And then also I like to keep it in a pending uh, project 
in order to you know know the things that I've uh, that I'm waiting on uh, it, you know have them all set in a particular spot so that just got hidden over into later so it'll pop back up on Thursday or, or Friday morning at midnight but it's also in my pending folder and I did it all at once just in that one dialogue you may have noticed that I've either clicked OK to apply, uh, but often I can just hit enter so long as the cursor is just in one of those input fields and the, for the dates and the dialogue. That's really quick. So I think uh, many of us have to do things like this a lot all day long. So I really optimize for some of those common use cases. And I've been using this dialogue a lot. It really saves me a lot of time. Uh, but I don't use it exclusively. I use the quickest tool for the job. So sometimes it might be this dialog, sometimes it might be a shortcut key that Asana provides, or the section mover in my tasks. Sometimes it's the task detail pane. I just recommend, you know, adding this to your toolbox and then choosing whichever one you find works best for you.